Well, guys, it's Kieran or Killer Killer HD here, and welcome back to Killer Killer Society. Today is Mansfield Town in 8th position, surprisingly, versus Milton Keynes Don, who are down in 14th position. If they win, they can go as far as 10th, um, as 8th, sorry. And if we win, we could go as far as 3rd, depending on goals and the other results. So let's get right into this episode. We have transfers, we have a game. Let's get into it. <laughs> So firstly, I want to discuss an out. Now, um, I'm not happy about this out because it costs... Um, it costs. Well, I am happy because it costs a lot of money. You know, this guy is a regen. He's joined us from uh, Welsh side and now he's gone. It's saddening, but 500k is not... I can't turn it down. I can't turn it down. So here is the out. Callum Jones is gone. He's joined Cardiff for £500,000. He's gone back to Wales, he's in the championship, he's not going to get games, but he's going to get games under 21s, and hopefully he can develop with Cardiff. He would be getting games for us, but I mean, 500k is too good to turn on, he wanted to leave anyway. He's well suited for the League 2 football, he could go as far as a Skybet Championship defender, and we are a favoured personnel for him. Well, we were, well, I mean, what? <laughs> it, I checked like two days ago, and it said I was favoured personnel, Callum Jones hates me, Callum, why? Callum, why? Oh well, I got 500k for him. It's sad, it happens, I'm just looking forward to the developers, we'll keep an eye on him. But because he left, we had to get some ins, so here are the, here are the ins. Jason Malumbi joins us on a loan from Brighton Hove Albion. He um, did quite well in League 2 last season, 27 appearances, one only one assist, but I'm guessing he played them more as a ball in midfield more than anything. Um, yeah, they did. So, um, I mean, his mentals are quite good, his physicals are decent for League 1 football. Technicals could do a bit of improving, but he's only here for a season, I'm just hoping he does the job. Um, Coach Report says he's free star ability. Um, he's just behind Jack Thomas and our newest signing, Alberto De Francesco, the man, the myth, the legend. Alberto De Francesco joins on free transfer. He's played for Lazio. We've got a game. Went out on loan to Ishia Izo Lavardi. I think that is got 24 games. Um, he joins us on a free transfer after be leaving um, the Aquila Calcio 1927. Look at the mentals, look at them. League One player, that is bloody decent. His physicals are decent as well. His technicals are very good as well. I'm just excited. You know, he's an Italian lad. You know, um, Manchester Town, the board, gave us the option to um, expand on our scouting and go to Europe. And I was like, are you having a laugh? Take it, run! <laughs> And the final signing is Ryan Patrick Nolan. He's an Irish defender, probably more suited to the centre back spot as more than the right back. He used to play for Inter Milan, interestingly, but now he's going to unloan to Kidderminster against the Harriers for the season, hoping he gets games there because he's not going to get the games here. Um, you know, his, his physicals are okay, his technicals and mentals could do a bit improving. I mean, he has potential to grow. I'm just hoping he can do that. He's got potential to be a League One right back in the future, or you know, he's supposed to be a centre back, but not a right back. So I just don't know. I'm looking. I'm just interested. I'm intrigued to make money on him. I mean, former Inter Milan player for Christ's sake. I mean. He's got to be good, right? So those are the outs and the ins. Then um, I'm not. I'm probably not going to do any more business. I think that's it. I've made enough signings as it is without spending any money, which makes me happy. And bringing in 500k as well makes me very happy. So let's go have a look at the schedule. Then. So after the shocking 3-0 win at home against Swindon, we lost the 1-0 to Wigan away from home in the Capital One Cup. Yannick Schwild shit. Wheeled shit, well, wheeled shut with the goal here. Um, attendance was quite down for this game. They're a championship side, so I was quite surprised to see attendance down for that game. We won 3 1 at bloody Fratton Park against Prowley's Portsmouth. Oh my god. Connor Chaplandino, there's a reference, scored in the 15th minute to make it a 1 0 to Portsmouth. But in the second half, we just came out a different side. West Burns come on at half time. It was an absolute bloody legend. Two goals, 8.7 average rating for him. And then even Clara got a goal as well. Even Clara is on fire. I believe he's one of the top scorers in the league as well. I mean, that's amazing to me. I gotta be honest, Pompey weren't good enough. I don't feel they're good enough. Kevin, Kevin Long and Jack Watmore, obviously, um, you know, the guy who looks like Jack Wilshire with blonde hair. They didn't have the best game. I feel like maybe they could have done better, but I'm, I mean, I'll take a 3 1 win at Fratton Park. And then we lost 1 um, 2 against Birmingham um, at Field Mill. Goals from Card Empty for us and Kobe Arthur and Joel Ekstrand for them. Um, Kobe Arthur scored the 12th minute. And Chris Forrester missed a really vital penalty to make it 2-1. And in the 91st minute, Joel Ekstrand scored a header from a corner to make it 2-1. Heartbreaking stuff at Field Mill. 
And then we lost in the rivalry game that I didn't want to lose. And we lost 1-0 away from home against Chesterfield. Jake Beasley in a fifth minute goal. But we really came back into the game in this game against Scunthorpe where we dominated against Scunthorpe. Chia Yabra is finally getting on the action with a goal to win us this game. Kyle, um, Kyle um, Dempsey had a good game. Billy Waters had a fantastic game. Stephen Hewitt was key. He's, he's really pushed himself into this team. I will say that. Stephen Hewitt has shoved himself into this uh, his side. And I really feel like, you know... He could be a legend to the side, maybe. He's, you know, he's like the League 2, League 1, Yaya Torre. He's brilliant. And then we drew 1-1 away from home against Shrewsbury Town. Goals from Lee Novak for Shrewsbury and even Clare. Obviously, Shrewsbury Town came up with us in the league. And possession-wise, we dominated. Shots-wise, we should have done better. Even Clare is saving our asses, really. They had a good game. They've got Jamie O'Hara as well, which is cool. Um, Lee Novak getting that goal. I think Lee Novak's actually quite a decent striker. Didn't he used to play for Birmingham? He did use to play for Birmingham. Look at that. My knowledge is on point, gentlemen. So we've got Milton Keynes done today. Let's go have a look at the league table. We are currently in 8th position. Um, only a point behind playoffs. But that's because um, other teams have now caught up in the league. Oxford dropping down to 7th. Um, Birmingham City up first. The 16 points. Chesterfield on 2nd and 15. And the playoff positions are populated by Pompey, Rochdale, Colchester United and Huddersfield Town. In the bottom of the league you have Luton Town, Scunthorpe United, Burton Albion and Bolton Wanderers who have got five losses to the name not nice to see really obviously we're in eighth Milton Keynes are in 14th we have a top scorer you know even, even Calero is the second top scorer in the league with four goals we also have a player with the most assists as well Billy Waters tied with Callum Robinson former Aston Villa man for Rochdale so it's been interesting it's been short it's been sweet let's get into the game let's have a look at the sides first for this big game against Milton Keynes Don hopefully we can pick up a win because we can go as far as first so here is the Milton Coyne um, <laughs> Here is the Milton Kings side then, they have Halstead on the bench with Omar, Ajose, Nua, McManus, Tilney and Carly. So they got Martin in goal with Hudson, Machene, Mills, Lewington and DM. They've got Good and they've got Dudgeon, Furlong, Sammy Karufas and Kiwoma and up front they've got Long. Now I'm really looking forward to seeing up coming up against Michael Machene. I used him in my NBA database video and he was really quite good. So I'm looking forward to that. And also Sammy Karufa's side note. This was recorded before Sammy Karufa decided to piss in the cup and then handed it over to his mate James Collins to throw over a balcony at the Cheltenham Festival. Former Aston Villa man. Got a lot of potential to grow. Former, former Arsenal man as well. I never knew that. That's really interesting. Their formation is quite deep. They've got a lot of defensive wingers. I feel like um, we can probably press in the middle a lot. So here is our bench. They have Fitzsimmons on the bench. They have Tom Naylor, Mal Benning, Luke Maxwell, Jack Thomas, Kyle Dempsey and Wesley Burns. And on the team today we have Mark Howard with Ethan Wedderburn, Donovan Daniel, Adam Jackson and Vashon Neufield. In the midfield we have Matthew Willock as a ball midfielder and Alberto Del Francesco as a roaming playmaker. And in the midfield, um, attacking midfielder, oh, sorry, Billy Waters, Chris Forrester, even Clara the inside forward. Hopefully he can get more goals. And Thierry Ambrose is poaching his way up front. He's like a poached egg. Let's get into this game and hopefully we can beat Milton Keynes Dons. This game o is underway, Mo. It's Milton Keynes Dons versus Mansfield Town. We're at home and I'm looking forward to seeing how we form. I feel like we can get a win here today. Milton Keynes aren't on the best of form. But remember, it is League One, it is difficult. So let's get into this. Calero, free kick. Calero! <laughs> he scored again! Five goals for the season for even Calero. He won't stop scoring. He will not stop scoring. It is 1-0 to Mansfield Town. It's a free kick of dreams. It's Mansfield Town 1. Milton Cow Milton Cowns. Milton Clowns, apparently. Milton Keynes, nil. Imagine if I actually learned English words. It'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? So Calero steps up. Look at this. On his right peg, over the wall, top bins. It's 1 0 to Mansfield Town. Get in, my son. Oh, God. Furlong with a corner. Whips it in. I think that's Darren Furlong. Weatherburn and cannot get to that. And it's 1 1. Matt Mills with the goal for Milton Keynes. His first ever goal for the club. And after scoring that free kick, that's quite disappointing to see. I thought we were going to go into half time 1 1. Darren Furlong whips in the ball here. I believe it's Darren Furlong anyway. Kiwoma heads it. Ethan Wedderburn should do better. Mark Howard should do better. It's 1-1. So it's half time. I've done my team talk. I'm going, I'm going attacking. I'm going attacking. I don't know why I'm going attacking. It's probably a risk, but I'm going to do it. I feel like we should be getting more shots. They've had three with eight on um, three on target with eight shots. We've had five uh, with two on target. I just feel like we need to go attacking and try to go for this game. It's at home for Christ's sake. Come on. I'm making a change. Thierry Ambrose is not making... 
his comeuffins today. He's not doing well enough. Wes Burns is going to come on as a poacher. He's, well, Thierry Ambrose has dropped off the form since last season. It's really disappointing to see. But, I mean, it just happens, I guess. It's a different league, different kind of environment. Here comes Vashon Neufil to Chris Forrester. In the middle here, he's got options. He gets it to Wesley Burns, though. What will he do? Wesley Burns has got past his man. He shoots off the crossbar. And Matt Mills will clear. Wes Burns making a big impact already since coming on. Just found out. It's Connor Furlong, not Darren Furlong. Bloody idiot. Anyway, I'm going to make my second change of the game. Alberto down Francesco. Sorry, I need to repeat myself. Alberto Del Francesco is going off in place of uh, Jack Thomas. It's going to be our second change in the game. We're going to change Jack Thomas to a box-to-box -box midfielder. Hopefully he can do that job well. 20 minutes left in the game. Um, the actual betting site said it would be a draw. I'm hoping to prove them wrong with Wes Burns now getting a, um, getting a crossbar shot already. I mean, come on, man. We've got corner. Um, free kick in Calero. Wesley Burns. Chris Forrester. Is it offside? Is it offside? Chris Forrester makes it 2-1 to Mansfield Town. That's a beautiful, beautiful bit of football. I think that's Calero with the assist. I will make sure. Calero whips in this free kick here. I said it was corner. But it's free kick on the right-hand side. And, oh no, it's Wesley Burns who gets the assist, and then Chris Forrester follows it in to make it 2-1 to the Stags. That's a really good change from us as Wesley Burns getting himself an assist for the day. That is beautiful stuff. 85 minutes on the clock here. I'm going to make my final change in the game. Going to um, bring on Luke Maxwell in place of Matthew Willock. Matthew Willock um, doing, had a good game. Luke Maxwell deserves a chance. Let's bring him on. We've got five minutes on left on the clock. Can we see out this victory against Milton Keynes? Boys, I'm going defensive. I'm making a change. Okay, try and see out this victory now. It's a big change as well because they could come out and we're letting them push on us now. With three minutes left, can we hold out? Oh, I've made a wrong decision. Samuel Carufas to Connor Furlong. Wedderburn gets in the way. Billy Waters, unless we get a, second, a third goal, which would be nice. If, um, Billy Waters. I said Ethan Waters then. Jack Thomas to Chris Forrester. Back to Luke Maxwell, who's replaced Matthew Willett. Chris Forrester, who's also come on. He gets tackled by Curtis. Good. And that's going to be a red card. See you later, pal. They go down to 10 men. I'm going back to attacking. I mean, I'll take a red card any day of the week. Who's number 10? It's even Calera with the free kick. What will he do with it? He's got options on the right-hand side there. Number 22 is on there. Um, he's got other options as well. He gets it down to Chris Forrester. Can he get to that in time? Carufas cannot get to that. Neither Forrester. I think that will be full time. And it's another win for the Stags in League 2. We are really performing above expectations. Chris Forrester on the ball to Billy Waters. To Wesley Burns. Mills will clear. And that is... Is that it? Yes, that is it. That is another key victory in our journey in League One. I'm going to passionately say, well, lads, that was a good win for us. Thierry Ambrose not showing up again in the game, but, I mean, we're up to sixth in the table. Milton Keynes go down to 18th. That is another massive win for us in League One. Let's go and have a look at the table fully, because I'm looking forward to seeing who else we go with next, because I really want to know. I really want to know if we can get... Oh, I just want to look at the season preview. Here are the other results then. Huddersfield Town won today. They won 2-1 over from home against Colchester. That was a big win for them. Bolton lose again. Wickham Wanderers winning 5-1 against Rochdale. Is that Matt Derbyshire? In oh, my God. God. So let's have a look at the table properly then. Sixth in the league, only behind Morecambe. We're actually tied with um, Wickham, sorry, not Morecambe, Wickham. Everything's the same. Just a point behind the lads in third and fourth, and then we're a couple of points behind Birmingham and Chesterfield. Here's a season preview, because I want to see where we're going to finish. 23rd. Well, we're proving them wrong, but I, I know, I know it's only flipping eight games or seven games gone. But, I mean, come on. Sixth in the league after seven games. That's bloody great for us. Let's have a look. I mean, look, 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 look. I'm not being funny. But look how well we're doing. I think we're doing really well. I think we're proving a lot of people wrong in this um, in this series and so far. I know it's only seven games gone, but I really feel positive about how we're going to do. I mean, is mid-table too much to ask this season? Or is playoffs too much to ask this season? The next game I'm going to do, I'm actually going to make it a specific game. I'm going to go away to Bolton Wanderers. I feel like that's actually a massive game. Um, not because you know, It's not because it's 24th and it's an easy win. Because I feel like Bolton are really going down the charts. Uh, you know, they're not top of the pops anymore, for Christ's sake. I mean, they're going down and they're not doing well. They've got Nigel Clough in charge. And I mean, look at the schedule. Look at it. Oh, it's, it's horrible to look at. And then I'm guessing last season they had just the same, really. Oh, that's... I, I used to follow Bolton quite... Look, I'm not being... Really playoffs! They were in the League One playoffs last season. Now they're getting... Rel oh, my God. Well... Nigel Clough's getting sacked in the morning, isn't he? I cannot believe that. So what we're going to do is face Bolton Wanderers in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Kid Against Stag Dude. If you did, leave a like. And if you didn't, tell me why in the comments down below. And I will see you all very soon for another episode of Kid Against Stag Dude, Foot Manager 2016.